Guys, good afternoon. A little channel update. Um, changing the diff oil in the front. I never got to it. We're gonna, um, Saturday, this weekend, we're gonna go out riding. Got the uh, big ZJ going. I'm going. Uh, I'm not taking the wife's Jeep, but um, got a CJ going with uh, 35 boggers on it. And uh, whoever else decides to go. Um, just want to let you guys know. Got some video coming up of some trail riding. And um, should be fun. break this cover at least I don't think y'all want to watch that look at that it ain't too bad let's see there I still like to get it out of there it's about probably about the third time I've changed it and I wanted to thank all you guys who've subscribed to my channel and stuff and I've watched the first few videos I made and I sound kind of like an arrogant guy, but I'm, I'm not like that. I'll bust balls, but usually it's just for fun. I really appreciate you guys watching me. I know y'all want to see the Jeep and stuff, and, and then maybe this weekend I can get some good footage of it. And, uh, and the rest of the guys, the guy in that, uh, that ZJ, <laughs> he's fun to watch, buddy. He would give it hell. And uh, usually a good time when Old Johnny's with us, and uh, me and him like to keep them in the floor. We like the skinny pedal, and it ain't always the best thing to do, but it's fun. And uh, I like doing it that way. I've always been that way. I think I get it from all my drag racing days. Just like to raise hell. I know you guys are probably wondering why I run stock gears in this thing, and I've got all this money in it. Why didn't I change the gears? Well, I've put uh, 488s in these before, or guys, and if you look, I mean, I know you guys have probably looked in here and see if you can see that pinion up in there. It's a pretty, you know, it's kind of okay size gear, pinion gear, but when you get that 488 gear in there, I mean, it's literally the size of that. You know, if you lay it in your hand, it's the size of that and it just scares the crap out of me you know I've used to building 60s and 14 bolts and stuff like that like I said before I had you know Chevrolets before I got the Jeeps you know years ago before I got into the Jeeps and that little pinion just it just scares me it just seems like it break pretty easy I mean I know guys run them and run the hell out of them and they don't break but I'll probably get there eventually and uh, put mine just notice something. That don't look right. Look at this. We might have to fix this. Look at that. You see that drive shaft? Sitting here running my mouth. I think something is up with that transmission metal. Let's go back here and look. At the rear drive shaft. Could be crazy. I've never really paid no attention to it. Right in. Yeah, we definitely have an issue. I remember my video. Look at that drive shaft. I ain't hiding anything from you guys. You know, I don't know everything, but it looks like to me with that long arm cross member. It's got that whole transfer case kicked to one side, and that would be why my linkage should come out. I'm going to pull that thing down, that cross member, or at least uh, lift the transfer, transfer case up and see if what's going on with that. I think I broke that transmission mount. I looked at it. It didn't look like it was broken, but that don't mean anything. We, I was giving it hell last time I had it out. I had this thing on the floor, and some bad clay holes anyway we'll get up there and inspect that but like I was saying you know 
I appreciate you guys watching me and uh, my shenanigans. I'm not uh, been doing this very long, this video stuff. I Hell, I've never done it, but I do have a pretty good bit of knowledge, more engine knowledge than, than mostly anything, transmissions and stuff like that. I've built, worked at tranny shops and car shops and lift truck shops and big rig shops and all kinds of stuff. I used to have a pretty bad attitude when I was young and I got bored easy and I worked at a race engine shop called, it was the name of it was Wheelers. It's in Jacksonville, Florida. I worked there for about five years and built some kick-ass Brodix motors, you know, almost 700 inch motors and and I did that. I loved that job, but it didn't pay anything. So I had to move on, but anyway, just some of the history, you know, my background and stuff, you know, I never did introduce myself to the channel, but I'm uh, ASC certified master technician, and um, I'm master certified through my lift truck company. I'm lead technician you know, out where we, in my area. We got five guys, they're all good guys, and um, anyway, I've, in my first videos, I've watched them, and it sounds like I'm an arrogant ass, but I'm really not. You know, I'm just like you guys. You know, if, I'm sure some of you guys are mechanics, and, and you know, the Jeep thing is actually two, three years old to me. I mean, you know, two or three years ago, I didn't even mess with them, but that's how I do. You know, I, I get into stuff, and... And I go all out with it, and that's just how I've always been. It's it's kind of been a curse on me. When I was drag racing, I had a nobody liked Mustangs, just like they don't like Cherokees. So I got a Mustang, and I worked at an engine shop. So I built a 427 built a 427 inch uh, dart motor to go in that Mustang. I had belt drive on it. You know, J heads, which is some pretty bad heads they had back then, and and um, sheet metal intake, and had a fogger on it, and all kinds of stuff. That that motor into me in the jailhouse. So I go all out on everything. And as far as the uh, the Cherokee goes, you know, um, I got that thing for nine hundred bucks that I got out there, and. I was going to rebuild the engine in it, but um, the thruster bearing was totally white and it tore the whole block up, so it was, you know, it couldn't be used. So I ended up buying the engines, what I did. It's 30 over and bought it from Jasper Engines, put it in there, and, and I got a transmission work fine, so I started working on it. But um, anyway, I don't even know where I was at with all that, but my phone keeps wanting to ring. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate y'all watching my channel and putting up with me. I know I'm country fied and this, that, and the other, but I got a lot of knowledge in my head. When I get some uh, cash flow going, I'm going to do some things to that engine. I think that I ain't seen many people do that, but um, I know ways to do, I could do anything to that engine. I could stroke it, I could do whatever. It's just a matter of how far I want to go with it, but. You know, maybe um, we can do some engine work and uh, suit them things up. I don't like the, to me, there's no reason to do an engine swap on that thing. I mean, there's a lot you can do to it. I've seen people put 4.3s in them, and I don't know why they do that, but whatever. Um, that, that engine right there, I think, is one of the best engines that they ever built as far as longevity. And there's ways to get more power out of it. And they'll probably come out with that head. And there's got to be a cam profile that'll work with that head and uh, computer combination, I haven't even researched it, I'm sure there is. You know, bigger injectors and bigger throttle body. Get that thing up around 300 horse and shit, it'll come to life then, buddy. And uh, I got plans to do stuff to the axles and stuff like that and, you know, we all do. I got plans to the moon, you know. I want to triangulate the rear like we did um, that ZJ do all that stuff to that thing, but you know, time will tell what we do to it. Hell, I ain't needed to do nothing to it yet. It's been beating around and doing what doing its thing. 
Anyway, guys, y'all have a good week, and um, I'll have you a good video coming up um, this weekend. I'll have it. I should have it posted Sunday, but I'll try to record everything and try to get some good footage this time and um, get y'all some good, cool stuff to watch. And if we tear it up, we'll improve it. Whatever breaks, we'll improve it. But so far, in a year and a half going out. I haven't broke anything. I mean, I might break everything Saturday, but other than small, stupid stuff, I ain't really broke a hard part, you know? And that's a fact. I mean, they can, they talk bad about our Cherokees because we don't have frames, but who needs a fucking frame? That son of a bitch will go, buddy. And if it, if you twist it all to hell and run it into a tree, go buy another one for 800 bucks. Take all your shit out, put it in the other one, and go again. That's the way I look at life, buddy. Take a damn brand new JK and you bounce that son of a bitch off the tree. You got to call the insurance adjuster. I ain't got to call nobody. I'll look on Craigslist, find another one, and load all my stuff on it, and it'll be the same damn Jeep all over with. But uh, those uh, those JK guys, they give us hell. They give me hell. I don't know about y'all, man. They, I went to Jeep. I went to Jeep Fest in Helen, Georgia, with my Jeep, and it, it's a nice Cherokee, you know. And it's it's not a piece of shit. I mean, it's a nice Cherokee. Them guys. They wouldn't even talk to you, man. They wouldn't even talk to me. They act like I was redhead stepchild because it ain't a real Jeep. <laughs> you guys heard me when I hit my my uh, unlock button on my Jeep, you know. You know, I wonder if real Jeeps do this. It's because I've heard that shit so much. Look, I want to show y'all something. Y'all got any JK buddies? You need to show them this shit right here. Look at there. See that? It says Jeep. That means it's a Jeep. <laughs> a freaking Lamborghini don't got a frame either, but that's a bad bitch. <laughs> I think I'd put my Cherokee right up there. If it, if it was a four-wheel drive challenge, I'd put that sucker against anything out there. I don't care. And if, you know, they do twist up and stuff, but hey, they work, buddy. We all know it. We've all had to prove it, and we'll have to prove it again a million times until, I don't know. We ain't going to run out of bodies because they, they, they made millions of them things. And uh, I bought the wife for a 1000 bucks, And what well, she did, she bought it for a 1000 bucks. I didn't want to get it because I didn't want to work on two of them, but I was at work, and she said, look, I'm going to get the Jeep. If you even want to look at it, you might want to come home from work. If not, it'll be here when you get home. The son of a bitch didn't even run. So she went and bought it, had it towed here, dropped off by a transport truck, and now it's been redone. <laughs> and it was a challenge, man. You gotta love it, though. My wife's the type of girl, she's not riding long. She wants to sling mud, too. And I taught her how to drive in the mud. When you get in it, honey, and you feel it start spinning, you just hold it on the floor. <laughs> and it's entertaining with nothing else, buddy. But hey, she just took that thing. We had that that older Cherokee there. I think that's a uh, 91. She had these tires on it. The pro comps right there, 35s. She had them on there. And uh, we was out in a whole Labor Day weekend, and it was a old logging trail, right? And it was just a, I was a trail leader, I was ahead of everybody, and it just looks like that old mossy looking grass, you know, that just looks bad, you know, but it wasn't really wet, it was just, just like a road. All of a sudden, I just quit moving, and I'm like, what the heck? I get out. Go to the front of the Jeep, I couldn't even get to my winch rope. It was so, it was a sinkhole, just a bad sinkhole. Well, five hours later, I'm not kidding you, five hours later, we got five Jeeps through that hole. Well, she ran out there in that thing the next day, we decided, because it'd be a good idea, right, to go back to that spot. Hell, we couldn't get through it yesterday, let's try it again today. So we come from the other way with a little bit more momentum same thing happened you know i winched my way back and forth through it she took that thing the way i taught her 
she got to the edge of that hole and it started spinning and she matted that son of a gun to the floor and it shifted in the second. Hers has got a 242 transfer case in and it seems to be lower geared than mine in second gear. Anyway, she pinned that thing down, ran out there screaming. She got out there about 102 feet probably and we could not get to her. We couldn't get to her to get to hook up to her. Nobody could get close enough to her to hook up to her. She don't have a winch on there. It took us two hours to get that thing out of there. I had to winch myself to her, get her moving, back up some. It was a pain in the butt, but we got it out of there after we folded the whole front end up under it. But anyway, guys, I'll quit rambling on about bull crap. I just really appreciate y'all watching me. You know, I didn't think that uh, I'd ever get one subscriber or two views, but I've got 90 now, and... I'm going to give y'all um, some good stuff to watch come the weekend. I got a bunch of buddies, and they all have to crazy, and uh, they like to, they they have these saying of, uh, it's Friday, it's time to F shit up, and they mean it. All right, guys, y'all have a good one, man. Don't let the forums get you down. Get there and figure it out.